a one and a half hour drive from Bhopal, the capital of Madhya Pradesh, and you will find this solar farm spread over five hectares of land. We are in Sanchi, a city historically renowned for its UNESCO World Heritage status for housing sacred relics of the Buddha. It is now home to a three megawatt solar power plant that's electrifying the city, making it the first solar city of India. As we drive into city limits, we find it dotted with EV charging stations, solar water kiosks, and solar streetlights. It is believed Sanchi's journey into being solar powered wouldn't have been possible without its 7,000 residents. We meet a few of them to understand what they make of the transformation so far. In May 2023, 62-year-old retired school teacher Rataram Sarate's house was chosen as one of the 20 households for rooftop installations. Along with the 3 megawatt solar plant built for the city's energy needs, rooftop solar panels on residential homes like Sarate's are providing an additional 63 kilowatt capacity of power currently. Sarati is referring to the net metering system, a utility billing mechanism available in most states of the country. Through it, any consumer generating excess electricity through their solar panel systems is offered credits that then get adjusted against their future bills. Sarati tells us that at about 500 rupees a month, his bills are now half of what they used to be. Sanchi has been reportedly going solar without any direct government funding. The solar project here either works on private-public partnership models or CSR. The city is set to reduce about 14,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions annually, equivalent to saving over 2 lakh trees. It also aims to save around 7 crore rupees every year for both the government and its citizens. To achieve these ends, government officials tell us rooftop installations play a critical role as they are being prepped to generate primary energy. Along with citizen homes, all 20 government buildings in the city, including railway stations, schools and post offices, have rooftop solar panels. Collaborating with a non-profit helped authorities map the conditions of these roofs before installation. We got the drone survey done. They developed a software. We had multiple interactions with them as to allow that uh, software to be interactive enough so that a common citizen is able to understand as to how much is the capacity that can come into their roof top. And fortunately, it is live. Uh, people can see and it is not only Sanchi, but there are multiple cities of Madhya Pradesh who now have that uh, information available and it is available like as a citizen, I can always go back and see uh, through the website that how much can I establish on my rooftop as a solar plant. As a country, India, however, severely lags behind in its rooftop solar targets. Of its aim of generating 40 gigawatts through the sector, it has so far managed 7.4 gigawatts. Disha Agarwal from the Council of Energy, Environment and Water explains how it is the lack of investment in consumer education that is creating a lot of these gaps. For example, again, in a big state like Uttar Pradesh, uh, the installed uh, rooftop solar capacities uh, in 2022 was only about 260 megawatts. Uh, against a target of 4300 megawatts by 2020. Even though we do have subsidies and incentives available, say under the national solar program, but targeting those in the right manner, and like I said, investing in uh, raising the consumer awareness levels and uh, making them understand the benefits of going for a particular solution uh, vis-a-vis many other solutions that might exist um, is something uh, that is key. In Sanchi, 
Despite saving on his bills, Sarate is worried about the sustainability of his rooftop system. Without any formal guidance on its upkeep, he is not sure how to maintain it, he tells us. It's the fada to me, but I have a good fada, but I have a good fada. Why do I have a good fada? Why do I have a good fada? We have a good fada for 3 kW, and we have a good fada for 3 kW, but we have a good fada for 3 kW. We don't have to see anyone, we don't have to listen to anyone. We have to tell you how to do it, 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 how to do it. If you put water in the water, you don't have to put water in the water, but you don't have to understand how to do it, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. While some residents might currently be struggling with aftercare issues, the city did make initial efforts to keep them at the center of the transition. Usha, or Urja Saksharta Abhiyan, an energy literacy program, had been introduced in 2021 to initiate students and citizens into concepts like energy conservation, use of renewable sources, and its economic benefits. And the idea is that all the individuals are to be made aware of how to minimize your consumption and is there any way in which you can use equipments, you can design your houses, you can design your toilets in which you have a least of consumption of energy. And because of which we ensured that there is a complete and 100% coverage in Sanchi. You would be happy to note that there is already uh, around uh, 1.5 million of citizens, adult citizens in Madhya Pradesh have already got trained on this have uh, done the complete 12 modules and have also been certified because of that. Vikas Tomar, a certified Usha trainee, PhD student and a part-time general store owner, opened up to us about the outreach program, what worked for it and what perhaps could have been done better. In our college, there was a camp in Sanchi Nagar Palika. There were all the big officials and collectors. Everyone came. Collector bhi aaye the, sab log aaye the. तो उसमें ये हुआ था कि हर जगह छोटे छोटे सांची नगर पालिका में चार्जिंग वाले बल्फ आए हैं और लैंप आए हैं बैटरी आई हैं बाकी हमारे यहाँ सोलर वाली लाइटें भी लगी हैं पूरे कॉलोनी में लाइट लगी है सोलर सिस्टम वाली फॉर्म तो सरल था लेकिन क्या ये ऑनलाइन प्रक्रिया थी तो ऑनलाइन प्रक्रिया में लोगों को बहुत कम लोगों को परेशानी होती है वैसे आप तो अधिकतर लोग जानते हैं लेकिन बहुत लोगों को परेशानी होती है गाँव वाले लोगों को तो परेशानी होगी ऑनलाइन लेकिन अगर वही फॉर्म ऑफलाइन हो तो लोग अधिक से अधिक भर सकते हैं ट्रांजिशनिंग सिटी लाइक सांची विच इज लार्जली एन एग्रेरियन इकोनॉमी वुड हैव टू बी फार फ्रॉम इजी फ्रॉम एडुकेटिंग इट्स पीपल ऑन वॉट इज फॉर ऑल पर्पज इज अवल टेक्नोलॉजी टू इंकरिंग ह्यूज कॉस्ट टू चेंजिंग माइंड सेट्स एंड बिहेवियर पैटर्न द जर्नी एन ऑन गोइंग वन is bound to witness roadblocks. Bihari Lal Sen drives an electric three-wheeler. He finds merit in its cost-effectiveness, he tells us. So, if you have this, how much money will you get in petrol? There is 50% of it. The power of 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 the power. The city currently, however, has only two charging stations that were inaugurated in July 2023. Over the last four years, EV penetration in the whole state of Madhya Pradesh has been a little over 2% of its overall vehicular sales. It's not less than now. Now, those who come from the customer, who are the customers, they do it. Today, Madhya Pradesh While locals are yet to take to the more advanced modes of energy saving appliances like electric cars, experts explain that segments like EVs and industry are likely to take more time to gain traction. So any transition, of course, will not be a linear process. Um, you know, a country as huge as India, as you said, the entire country as a whole transitioning through each stage, uh, different sectors, states, sections of society will transition at different paces. So while power sector transition is at relatively more advanced stages, 
uh, the mobility and the industrial uh, sustainability transition is still unfolding this is also because of you know the higher level of direct consumer interface um, in these sectors uh, you know mobility industries we have uh, cni consumers commercial industrial consumers uh, the cost and complexity of decarbonizing these sectors is higher The administration in Sanchi however is optimistic. It is already planning its path to becoming a net zero city, starting with a 5 megawatt solar plant for the agricultural sector. And um, also we are not resting on to only the present consumption but we are also looking at replacing the complete agricultural consumption also because in long run we are looking for a net zero city so this is not the first uh, that we want to be declared as solar city but we want to make it first net zero city in the world a net zero city is one that generates sustainable carbon neutral energy matching or surpassing its energy consumption in sanchi the aim is to get there through more rooftop solar installations solar parks wind power piezoelectric flows and electric vehicle adoption it should take 3 years uh, that is what our um, idea is because uh, when we have done the calculation there are three kinds of emissions that you have to take care scope 1 scope 2 and scope 3 scope 2 is all completely addressed by what we have already done scope 1 is getting addressed when we have this agricultural operations getting covered by the 5 megawatt of additional uh, plant which is getting commissioned in this month itself so this will take care and then there are some remission effects which will be like sinks the forest there the water bodies they will work as a sinks which will take care of the scope 3 as the first city to have actually made it to the tag of being all solar despite ground struggles sanchi has the potential to not just shine the way for others but also flag likely challenges uh, sanchi being uh, also a quite a famous tourist destination um you know also developing sanchi as a you know a, a spot for you know eco tourism is again something that uh, can be emulated by many other um cities which uh, see large footfall for tourists meanwhile for citizens like vikas who are better equipped to adapt to the transition it is the small everyday steps that are making life more exciting मेरे कॉलेज में जब कैंप लगा था तो मैंने अपने लिए स्टडी टेबल के लिए लैम्प खरीदा था सोलर सिटी वाला और बाकी मैंने अभी कुछ दिन पहले चार्जिंग वाला पावर बैंक भी सोलर सिटी वाला खरीदा है धूप में रखेंगे वो चार्ज हो जाएगा सोलर सिटी वाला है मेरे पास थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग ईको इंडिया इफ यू लाइक द स्टोरी प्लीज गिव अम्स अपब्सक्राइब टू स्क्रोल डॉट इन ऑन यूट्यूब